M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu FTM500. Just talking about the tilt bracket. Just taken off uh, one of the screws from the side. So you get really, you get a choice of two positions. You can see it's in the upright position at the moment. We, we can now tilt it straight. You get two. So the thing I've noticed is that, because I thought you could just you know, fold it up and down. But really, you do have to take off or loosen the, the, the bottom screw and you get this, hopefully you can see that quite well. Yeah? Two positions there, you get one, or that's the positions that you're getting. So now you can take the head off, we'll do that. We'll just hold on here and the whole head will push the button there. See that, and the whole head does lift off. You see the positions there. I'll just turn it round as well, show you. Then we'll put the screw back in. It's a real, it's a very chunky unit. I can see why it costs, you know, it's more expensive than the 400. So a little tab there. I mean, you could get an RJ45 cable does work. But these, I don't know, they just seem better quality. Yesu of, yeah. I recommend you get the proper Yesu one, but yeah, you don't have to, of course. So let's have a look at this head unit on both sides. But this is the side where I haven't removed the screw. I'm going to keep my hand out of the light. Sorry about this. You see that, yeah? That's your two positions. You do get the, the screw head here, so you can add, you know, you can add a bracket there. Let me just put the screw back in and see if I can move it with the screwing. So before I took, took, removed the screw, I couldn't actually move it at all. So yeah, I put the screw back in and I can move that. You know, I can move it now. So you, you need to loosen the, the top screw and then it swivels two positions. I suppose you could lock it halfway, but if you look, this sort of beveled out so that the screw will go all the way in, in two positions. You've got like a, let's see if I can, you can see it. See, just here, there's a little bit that sticks down. So the position I think I prefer in is the tilt up position. So I'll, I'll just do the screw up there. I don't think you really need to do the, bo the bottom one up. They were quite tight. Go easy on these, because if you push and you slip, you're going to scratch your nice new, oh, it looks like I do need to tighten both. Hang on a minute, I didn't turn it all the way, sorry. Right. And, that it's, and also, this is plastic. It looks metal, but it's not. It's plastic. This whole unit is plastic, so just remember that. I suppose the whole thing is plastic. It doesn't feel very thick, that's all. It doesn't feel like thick plastic. And then just a little tweak there, and you're sort of permanently in that position now. You could, I suppose, try and leave them loose and then um, try and swivel it, you know, with the screws loose, but I don't, that doesn't seem like it would work for me. So uh, I'll just do them back up. Like so, and let's see about putting it back on the radio. So while we've got the head unit, we've got a GPS antenna connector there, which I am gonna try out today. Six pin connector there, which does work well. I mean, it's a lovely head unit, and when it's on, it, I will turn it on in a sec. It just looks, I don't know if the word's classy, it just looks good, yeah? It just, it just got a real nice look to it. You, you feel like you've got the flagship, you really do. So let's um, put it on. Now, to put it on, see if we can get this in. There's, on this side, a couple of little indentations there 
yeah, which go into here, these two. And then it just clips into place on the other side. It's got a retractable button. It's retractable. I wouldn't say it's a strop. I think you'd break it quite easily. So anyway, let's push, let's get the RJ45 in, which does squash in this gap here. So it's a little bit fiddly, but doable. The tab sort of faces you as it plugs into the radio. And the radio is, as you can see, is this way round. But the VFO is to the far right, or the big VFO. And you just put it, it's very deep in there. And just clips into place. Try not to break anything. And then you sort of squash it. Looks like the cable does sort of twist upwards like so. And you squash it. I'm going to do this without. At one end, put the clip and then clips in. Sorry about my ugly bit of sellotape. That's my SD card. Look. Which works great. I've been testing that. Leave it out for now. So let's look at this tilt position and then we'll put some power on this radio. But yeah, I think the tilt position is definitely the more comfortable viewing position. The base unit is quite heavy actually. But yeah, you put it under your car. You, I mean, they should have given us an extension cable. I'm going to buy one anyway, but I, I bet you they're like 25 quid just for a cable. I might look for one that is, I think, is as good as the one you get. You need a flat one, really. Uh, I, I tested it with a normal RJ45, and it did go in, but it didn't feel right. So let's power this thing up, have a quick look around, then we'll end the video. It's a nice microphone. We'll plug that in. I do like the mic these microphones. They've they've been using them for a few years, yeah, so six pin. That's sort of this style. And you know, there's so many thing, things you can do, you know, with this microphone. Uh, and I think I'm going to need to to properly learn what I can do. Um, I need to look at the manual. But it does do DTMF, and you can link and unlink and things like that. So let's just turn it on. Microphone on. Antenna, which is a collinear in my loft, 30 amp power. Let's turn it on. And I've set the screen. I've got my course on in there. I've got my APRS course on in there. And my all star node is connected. And hopefully, my if I go to the B section, my hotspot. B is just that look. And we can just turn to my memory channel for my hotspot. Everything which is there. Check the brightness. Hold down the function. Power I've got on low. Let's go back a couple. Brightness is actually low at the moment. So the basics are that's basically A and B band. A, B. It always puts the band you're using on top. Volume, main, let's call it main, sub band, X button for connecting, handshaking with your hotspot. If you hold it, if you turn it off and hold it, it'll put it into wires X PDM mode. If you turn it off, hold both red buttons, it'll put it into HRI 200 mode, which I've tested, which works great. SDX button is like a preamp, which works. I've been testing it and it does work. You get this white light here. I'll have to try it on a really weak signal and see what difference it makes. DISP, scope, you can touch the scope and hold the scope. So we touch it here, look. Puts it on the B band. Pretty good, eh? You can move across as well where you could 
Maybe when someone's not speaking, you can, you can touch other things. You can change this to wide and narrow in the menu. Push it. If you hold down these A and B, the two arrows, it puts what's in the A band into the B band. Watch. Who's he going to depend on? So we're now dual receiving D star. Not D-Star, uh, sorry, C4FM. So it does dual receive C4FM and you can hear it, which is good. PMG is really good. I put a few in there, press it, and there is five here. And you have PMG manual mode. If you hold down, when you're in PMG mode, hold down the main VFO and it will say, let's get my hand out of the way. Let's, let's come out of this in a minute. Hold it. Manual mode, where you manually scan through. You can tap them if you want. It is touch screen, of course. Hold it down. Auto mode. And it will automatically start looking and then come to life when it gets a station that's active, hopefully. To add anything into PMG, when, you're, when it's on channel, if we come out of PMG, let's say you wanted to add that, you just hold PMG. It puts it in there. To remove it, when you're in PMG, choose the one that you, well, we're in auto mode now, so it's scanning. Let's come out of that a minute. Let's go back to manual mode. Oh, I'm getting confused, but you're, it goes orange when you're in PMG. So to remove PMG, Go to the one you want to remove, hold down the back button, it will remove it and then you can add another one. VFO memory, it's come out of PMG. VFO memory. And memory storage is really easy. If we go, there's a VFO and often you can put in your shift and your tone and all that. You do have a shortcut menu for many things which you can customize just by hold down the function. In the long list, say you want to customize band scope. Hold it down, choose where you want it to go, push. Just put it in, the, in there, so that's your shortcut. Otherwise you've got a list of a hundred odd, like so. And you've got a, uh, a dedicated back button. So memory is literally just hold down VM, choose where you want it to go. Hold down the VM again, it's in there. When you go back to memory, we're pushing VM, it will be there where, where we just put it and turn the large VFO and if you want to name it, just hold it down again. This time go back one to where you were, which is 22, push the function and this time click edit. You go down to tag, put a name in, yeah, hold it again, the function, then click OK twice, you go down to OK and then OK again. And that's actually basically your, your memory channel. <clears throat> Why is X wise? Get this glare out of the way. Why is X wise? So let's put that my hotspot there. Oh, there's someone talking. You have to be on the main band to do that. You hold down the X button. And with a bit of luck, it will handshake. Because I'm doing a video, it won't. But it'll handshake and you'll have all the usual functionality of Y is X. Simplex, DN. No, it's not going to do it, of course. That's because I want it to. But anyway, um, you'll get the usual Y is X screen. I've done a separate video on that. To change the, the mode, look. Try it again. want to let's give it oh, I was still in wide like you say the DTMF mic try again no it's not gonna let me in <laughs> Give it a few tries, but hey, change the mode and at the top we can change from VFO to memory as well. Try 
like so. You can't go A and B though. Oh, you see, it gave me that. I don't really know how I did that just then. Let's hit the back button. How did I do that? Yeah, I tap the screen. Can I scroll through that? It's, show, it's letting me scroll through the memories. Yeah, cool. I think if you had everything set up, you could see how far away the station was that you're talking. And then you've got group mode for that as well. Don't forget, in group mode, you've got extra menu selections. That's where you can send your you know, pictures and messages. There's the distance thing again. In group mode, it does pulse. If anyone else talks, they'll appear. So overall, you know, what do I think of this radio? I think it's fantastic. You know, it's definitely a flagship model. I've tested the APRS, lots of APRS settings in there. Near the bottom. Every, as you go down the long list, in blue you have a heading and that makes it a bit easier to find things instead of a grid. The grid was better, you know, I don't know why they've done it this way. APRS, if you turn on the modem, number 76, push it, just turn the modem on and if you back out, there's, I mean, of course there's lots of settings. On the B section that's my APRS. So we flip it across with the AB. See if I can, I'm sure I put a frequency. Let's just put one in, like so, and then we'll go to type with the microphone. One, four, four, eight hundred. And APRS. I think that's all we need, isn't it? One four four eight hundred. We've got A twelve. We should start receiving packets. Really, you can turn off the annoying sound. And to Beacon TX, we could create a shortcut and put a shortcut here for Beacon TX. So we hold down the menu, go down. I have put in my call sign, which you of course need for sending anything on APRS. This has been deleted. Message replies, call sign APRS, yeah, it's in there. Oh, we just received a packet then, but anyway, let's just go down to Beacon. Where's T? Yeah, there it is, a Beacon text. If I hold it, I can put it there. And then if I back out, and I do the shortcut, and tap it, TX prohibits, so I, whatever, I must have, is there a shift in there? A12 uh, FM. Uh, Unless it has to be on the B band, so let's hold it down. Copy to sub. You try it again. No, but then we we'll go to the B again. Now let's. Oh, the thing is, it has to be on the B. Look, A12. So I'm sure there's a setting. It was working earlier. It did receive a packet. Let's have a quick look at the list. Station list. There you are, we received that one. So it is working, just need to work it. There'll be a setting in there that I've missed for TX, but it was working earlier. But it's not an APRS video, it's just a, a quick overview. You know, let's just show you the my 400. See if I can put my 400 near it. So there you are. The big question for many people is, should I sell my 400? to get the, you know, the 500. And it's a hard question because look how big the screen is and the functionality of the 400 is really good. Yeah, it's there are extra things with the 500, but do we need them? So I, I literally can't answer. I like them both. I've chose to have them both, two very good. I would say that the head unit of the 400 is a lot more moverable, you know. So I, right now I can't just pick this up, I mean, even with a big cable even with the extension cable connected. It's a lump, it's quite a lump. And it, and it doesn't feel like it, like this just feels like with that stand, I'd have to try it with the stand actually, see what it's like. 
They don't give you a stand or an SCU cable. They both use the same SCU cable as well. Um, so, uh, but otherwise, you know, I just think you're, if you sold this, you'd get about three hundred pound for it at the most. If you know, maybe a bit more or less. Um, you'd have to pay another three hundred and forty pounds to get the new, the latest, greatest model. Yes, you can plug the microphone in the head, which is very handy. Yes, you've got PMG mode, which I really like. So you get extra functionality. So thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air, 7-3, all the best.